How much does it cost to sell a house? Well, that's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Whitcomb. I'm a realtor right here on Cape Cod with William Ravis Real Estate. And if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hit the subscribe button right there. That way you'll be notified of all great things Cape Cod and Cape Cod Real Estate that I chat about every Thursday. So, how much does it cost to sell a house in Massachusetts? Assuming that you are planning to hire a realtor, then these are the typical expenses you can expect to incur in the state of Massachusetts. Number one, you're going to pay a commission to the real estate agents involved in the sale of your house. You hire an agent and agree to pay a X percentage of the sale of the house. When the buyers come along with perhaps their agent, then we agree to split a percentage um, to that buyer's agent as well. And just so you know, we don't keep the whole thing. There's the, all the agents involved, the brokerage fee, all of the marketing involved. So don't go thinking we're millionaires because that's not how it works. Number two, you'll have to pay all the property taxes that you owe since you've lived in the house. Once the property transacts to the new buyer, all of those taxes will be taken over by them. If you've prepaid, then there'll be a, an adjustment at the closing table um, if there's a credit due at that time. Number three, in the state of Massachusetts, the seller is responsible for paying the transfer taxes, otherwise known as the um, tax stamps to the registry of deeds. So in our county of Barnstable, the fee is $6.48 per thousand dollars of your home sale price. So for example, if you sold your home for $500,000, then you would pay $32.40 in tax stamps at the time of closing to record that property transfer. And these transfer fees are typically deducted out of the proceeds of the sale of your home at the time of closing. So you don't need to prepay anybody for this. It's done at the closing table. Number four are attorney's fees. While the terms of the offer typically guide the transaction, it's the PNS that's drawn up by an attorney that is truly the legal binding contract to the sale of the home. Because your piece of real estate is unique, so is the purchase and sale agreement unique to each transaction. Your attorney will prepare the PNS, review all documents with you, prepare the deed for transaction for you as well. The attorney will also arrange for your payoff if there is one on a mortgage. And again, review all these documents prior to closing so you know you have a pre-closing document, an estimate of what it's going to cost to close and what your estimated proceeds will be. Depending upon the particular circumstances, the attorney's fees can run say between $800 and say $1,100 to the seller at closing. And again, this is typically drawn out of the proceeds of the sale, so it's not have to be paid prior to. It's done at the closing table as well. Number five is septic expenses. So if you're tied to town sewer, then you can ignore number five altogether. But if you do have a septic system, then this is very important. Like smoke and carbon detectors, state and local laws and regulations require inspections. And in this case, this inspection is a compliance inspection called the Title V. The Title V is a law that controls this. You must hire a local Title V inspector to ensure that your property, that your septic system passes and is in compliance with the regulation dictated by the Title V law. You can expect to pay between $700 and $1,000 depending upon the size of your system to receive your Title V compliance certificate. 
This certificate, however, is good for two years. So the sooner you do it, the better. Number six, smoke and carbon monoxide detector certificate. So regulated by both state and local guidelines, all sellers are required to have a passing and conforming certificate of compliance. Prior to closing, your local fire department will conduct the inspection and ensure that all of your smoke and carbons are up to date and meet our local and state guidelines. They will issue you a certificate of compliance and that is also good for about, I think it's 60 days. Also, it is a cost between $35 and $50 here in Barnstable County. So now you know how much it costs to sell a house. Do you know what your house is valued at? Do you know what its market value is right now? It's not enough to say, oh, the house down the street sold for $500,000. That's what mine would be worth. Or the neighbor told you, I sold it for $500,000, but they really sold it for four fifty. dollars So you want to be careful about the information that you should know and the information you're being told. So if you'd like to find out what your house is worth, there's a link down below. You can click and at no obligation, I will help you and determine what your home valuation is right now in this marketplace. That way, you can decide if now is the right time to sell because that's a big factor whether you decide to sell now or in a year or two down the road. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you tune in for next Thursday's show. Click the link below if you'd like a free, no obligation home valuation report from me. Take care and again, thanks for watching.